it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for a while and today in this video I'm going to tell you guys a scary story of how I got lost on a neighborhood walk with my mom and my dogs. So um, this is a really scary story that happened to me when I was a teenager and just so you guys know I did no, I still don't handle getting lost very well. I get super frustrated when I get lost. I'm sure everybody Everybody gets frustrated with when they get lost but my frustration goes higher and my anxiety gets really high when I get lost and I get super scared so I'm going to tell you guys a scary story of how I got lost on the morning walk in the fog with my mom so this all started when I was in eighth grade and this was several years ago we were going for a walk with our um with our dogs I had was walking Gabby and Pearl and my mom was walking our dogs Mr. Knucklehead who was in was a um black Akita Newfoundland he sadly passed away when I was a junior in high school and our blind English setter Rex um he also sadly passed away when I was a junior in high school and um we were Going for our morning walk, we used to go for walks in the morning at 5 o'clock in the morning. And as we're walking the dogs, it is extremely foggy. And um, we're walking, and like part of the way when we're like downtown, I can, I do not see, I suddenly get lost in the fog and I can't see where my mom is. And I'm wandering all around the neighborhood looking for her and I can't find her anywhere. And I was going to yell for her, but I remembered it was super early in the morning. And I know people don't want to hear yelling that early in the morning. So I'm wandering all over downtown looking for my mom and I can't find her anywhere and I know that usually the smart thing to do is if you get lost you always um Sorry, I'm having a brain fade. You always um stay where you are so then someone can find you Sorry, I got distracted for a second and um I'm walk and I can't and I was too scared to stay um where I was because I was worried it would take my mom longer to find me so I wander all over the neighborhood looking for her and I can't find her anywhere because it's so incredibly foggy and also little did I know was my mom starts to worry too like she went for a walk and she didn't know where I was and she's like oh no where's Mina Mina and she thought somebody grabbed me or something and then she starts looking for me with the dogs and I don't know where I am because back then even though I lived in my city for years I didn't know where I have no idea where I am because it's so incredibly foggy and I'm walking everywhere looking for my mom and then I keep walking through the neighborhood and as I'm walking I'm going through and I just can't and it's so incredibly foggy that I can't see where I'm going and I'm walking through the neighborhood and as I'm walking through the neighborhood I saw hood but I keep like following like my normal, my normal, um, um, my normal directions of how I get home. And I figured my mom probably must have gone home. And I thought for some weird reason, I thought my mom must have gone home. And I'm wandering through the neighborhood and it's just so hard for me to see. And what sucks is I knew my mom's cell phone number, but I didn't have my cell phone on it with me at the time because I had left it at home so I could get ready for school school because I usually leave my cell phone charged before I go to school and I'm keep walking and I don't know and I can't find a pay and I don't have money for a pay phone at the time and it really sucks because I can't get a hold of my mom to tell her I'm safe but I'm, and I'm also not sure if my mom has her cell phone on her her and I'm walking through the neighborhood looking for her her and I just can't find her anywhere so I keep walking and I try to and I'm following certain directions that I remember to get home like home and I keep walking and walking and I just can't find her because it's so hard for me to see because of the fog and then as I'm walking through the neighborhood Hood, I still can't see because of the fog and I keep walking and walking and then I end up at home and I wait at home to see if my mom can find me. It took a bit of a while, so I stood outside because I remembered the door was locked because we locked the door before we would leave for our morning walks. Walks, And all of a sudden, I see somebody coming up in the fog, and it's my mom and the two big dogs. And she's so happy to see, happy that she found me that she gave me a big hug hug and she was like super relieved that I was safe and I was super relieved that I was safe too and I was super relieved that my mom was okay with the two big dogs dogs and then we were just like so happy we found each other and that we gave each other a big hug so the moral of the story is 
make sure if you do get lost in the fog make sure you bring your cell phone with you so you can contact whoever you're with so you um let them know that you're safe and where you are far well, back then i wasn't very good at good at um knowing certain places so i couldn't tell my mom where i was so and also always make sure you know where you are so you can tell that tell your parents where to find you just in case you get lost on a walk in the morning Okay, so that was a scary story of how I got lost on a morning walk. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week from on. I'll see you in our video soon. Bye!